almost nine. I was supposed to wake up at eight. No, seven. <laughs> Jokes on me. <laughs> I'm getting a pimple here because it's starting to hurt and I really those the pimples here around your nose area and I think around the ch chin are just the most painful ones oh let's hope I don't get it <laughs> downstairs and I'm gonna start writing my proposal so if you've watched my last vlog you know my proposal got rejected my graduation paper let's say um, yeah it wasn't good enough for the teacher so now I gotta rewrite it and this is my second and last chance so if I don't pass it this time I won't be able to graduate before summer oh I also don't think that I've ever told you about what my paper is gonna be about at first I actually wanted to write about like the Korean cafe business model bringing it to the Netherlands but because it's not really relevant or urgent for the time being um, I'm gonna write about what factors can contribute to a safe environment for students to study in a Dutch coffee cafe and that will basically show more of an urgency and a relevancy because COVID-19 yeah I have no idea what I'm talking about to be honest so <laughs> So I'm getting a bit hungry because I haven't eaten yet and so we're gonna make something to eat for ourselves thinking of making like creamy tomato sauce udon I don't know if it's gonna work but I'm thinking of like stir frying some vegetables and then putting like the cream sauce in it um I mean let's try it out why not, right? I think we're getting into a weird area here. So I changed into different clothes because I gotta head to work now. This is actually not what I usually wear for work, but it's so freaking cold in the Netherlands. Oh, I've also been able to find quite a lot of information for my paper, which I'm super happy about because sometimes you think of certain ideas and you're just like, what if I'm not able to find that online? Then I don't have a source and I'm not able to use that idea. But 
Luckily this time it wasn't the case. I'm very happy about that. It's time to go to work. Yeah, I'm on my way home now. It wasn't busy at all, so hence also why I w I'm able to leave earlier. So I feel really good at the moment. I think also because I kind of know what direction I want to head with my paper and I found information and I just feel really good about that. Anyways, I'm gonna drive home now and I will see you once I'm back. I am back home, got some fries. Oh, and I also got a snack, but I don't know how to say it in English because there's no such thing in English, but in Dutch it's called Mexicano and it's one of my favorite fried snacks. It's so good. It's I mean, this is before and there we go. I did run Everything is going fine. I feel super motivated to write. I'm stuck. I am stuck. I have no idea what to write about anymore. And I just feel empty. Like, I didn't even write that much. It's, it's barely half a page. And I'm just like, I don't know. It, it feels messy, but I just don't know how or what to change. Maybe I'm just gonna write. And then I'm gonna change it to tomorrow, you know, because I did that with the other part as well. So maybe I should do that for this part. I don't know. <laughs> I still have one, two, three days left. Only three days. Fuck. All right. We're gonna continue. Since the new year started, I actually want to start reading books, like more books. And one of them I'm currently reading is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Okay, so I'm gonna end my vlog here because it's almost 12 and I'm getting a bit tired. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. I had a pretty productive day, I would say so. And I hope you will also be able to have a productive day. Um, yeah, see you in my next video.